on Tommy Genesis. And welcome to the Guide is Wild Tour. A lot of people ask me why, why Tommy? You know, why is my name Tommy Genesis? I always say, well, Genesis is my first name. The Tommy part came because it was the beginning of calling my I identity out, calling it out from within myself. I've always felt like two people. I've always felt like I've, I've struggled with good and bad within myself. I always feel pulled between who I, I know I could be and who I am. And my life story is really just a, a story of acceptance and accepting parts of myself that I was born with that are hard to accept. Genesis. Tommy's the one on stage. Tommy's the one that's going insane. Is she psycho? She probably is. She's she's fucking psychotic. We don't know Tommy's crazy. You don't know what Tommy would do. But Genesis is the human. It's me. It's the one when the fourth wall comes down and I'm there with you and I'm there at the merch booth with you. That's me. I'm I'm genuinely present. But um I think that Genesis would not have a career without Tommy. I know I sound like some some villain character where I'm talking about myself in third person because I have this other self in my head, but I think we all do. I just named mine and decided to go on tour with mine and decided to do an album with mine. And everyone has a voice in their head that's the good voice and the bad voice, and I just gave the bad voice a tour. You know, and then every now and then the good voice just pops out. If you guys know the words to this next song, please sing along. you know my story I feel like I'm one of those artists where no one really knows anything about I'm pretty mysterious when was the first time you heard Tommy's music um, about two years ago yeah and what'd you think about it it's cool really good sexy well, let me ask you when did you discover Tommy's music well you... I've been listening to Tommy since I was in high school and now I'm 20 in college <laughs> you, don't, you don't like Tommy Genesis you just oh, with the chicks Tommy. <laughs> no, we love Tommy. I'm literally in love with you all. So. That's fine. That's a money shot. I always think it's funny when people take their jobs so seriously. Like, I could never work 9 to 5. I could never work anywhere like that because I would never take the job seriously. I was never meant to, to just fall into society. They never really created a slot for me. I'm kind of like the weird glitch. It was like, you know, everybody fits within this structure 
And it wasn't even that I was trying to rebel against this structure. I literally did not fit. I was a different shape, a different size. You could have put me in the slot. And like, because of that, I went through so many nine to fives and just quit them all, hated them all, whatever. Um, I never found anything that I liked to do. I went to school, I went to art school, but I don't know, it's kind of like a, it's a weird world for us artists. Everybody wants to know how and why we did something, and we're just doing it because that's fucking what we do. We make shit. You know, we're not doing it. It's not all calculated. Everybody wants to fucking know how or why. That shit's not calculated. We're just making shit. Leave us alone. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's the shine beast. <laughs> it's kind of whatever. Put a spike in your ass. Um, where's Emma? I'm about to wear these. Yeah, so long. to the album you wouldn't think that the show would be a punk show because the album can be poppy and it you know it's rapping and it has just so many influences but for whatever reason the music itself translates in real life to a punk show people are fucking screaming that shit Keep 
I grew up in a, a really spiritual household, so ever since I was little, I've had like weird prophecies on my life and people saying certain things. Because of that, I would always run from them. And sometimes at the end of the day, I feel like I've done nothing that matters. But an important part of everything for me is the way it resonates with my fans. And I don't care if my fans are one or 100. When someone tells me that it's helped them, I really think that's all I was made for. I think that's why God made me. I don't think he made me to understand myself, because I don't. I think he made me to help other people realize that it's okay we don't understand ourselves. <laughs> but. I've never been confused about my identity, ever. Never been confused about my sexuality. It's just, it's never, it's always been clear to me what's happening, but no one understands it. It's like explaining to someone why you're two different people. And I don't mean two different people with different personalities that talk differently. I mean, inside of me, the duality exists and the duality is very much good and evil. It's like a battle <laughs> inside myself. Every day I'm fighting thoughts, and I know everyone is, but I've been very interested in why. I love it when people say your music makes me feel like a bad bitch, because that's basically what I'm aiming for. I originally called my music fetish rap because nobody knew really what to do with it and obviously it had a lot of sexual undertones and to me it was a niche so you know if you fucked with it you fucked with it and that was good enough for me but if you didn't I didn't really care because I knew it was not for everyone and the way I was making the music it was it was like it was my own fetish and if you liked it it was your fetish too and I guess people just never gave that term up but now I feel like you know you you talk about artists and painters people who make visual art as visual artists now if you would ask me what I am I would say I'm a visual rapper that's really how I feel I think that you know, I bring certain metaphors and colors and it's almost like an abstract drawing at times, but other times it's concise and conceptualized. And to me, that's what I am. I didn't expect to have such genuine encounters, and I did. And I really fucking love my fans. I, I really do. I know a lot of them by name. I love my genocides. Shout out to my genocides. Shout out to all my fans, so I love you equally. I feel like I have my own church. I really do. So I try to be positive and I try to maintain that platform and that community for people to be accepted in and to be themselves in. <laughs> Let me know where you want me. Whenever the 
It's like this weird flip that happened where at first they only saw one side of it and they said, oh, we don't recognize it, so it's bad. But they didn't realize because they didn't recognize it, it was new. For me, I wanted the show to grow. I felt like I was growing. So the God is Wild tour was a growing pain. That shit hurt. At the end of the day, it's like, damn, I think I'm proud of myself for this tour. I think I'm proud of myself for this album. I think I feel proud of myself for doing something that actually was able to stir up this idea that we all have to be a certain way when we don't. And it's okay to be different and it's okay to be weird and it's okay when they say you're not like us or you don't fit in. It's okay because you don't need to fit into their version of, of who they think you are. You're already perfect the way you are and you fit somewhere else. All right, I'm gonna need some help. Thank you.